From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In today's recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. And then we go to the voting process. This Monday, the House is back in session. Sandy Hoyer orders them back in session. I'll have the latest detail of about the three bills we got to do. Recon procedural, recon substantive, and bipartisan. Then in the final 15 minutes of the video, a lot of breaking news. A major announcement about student loan debt forgiveness. An announcement about staff. A major announcement about the big money across the board that's coming to you in this four stimulus package. It's the biggest payout you've ever seen in this history of the channel. $3.5 trillion of checks coming to you. And then we go over the great new news as more push is underway to get you stimulus checks. It's a big day and I'm excited to be with you as we go into a big weekend. Exciting details. As a big morning's L8 heats up, the, cost, the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and the deliciousness starts right here, right now, as morning's L8 kicks up its feet. Direct from Santa Monica, on a big day, starting now. It's a beautiful day here, direct and live from you on Mornings LA from Santa Monica, California. Four stimulus is heating up, and the exciting great news is that it's going to be the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel. I have all that and more. But first, how are you doing, and how's the weather where you are? Thank you for joining me on this big Mornings LA. Boy, it's wonderful weather. It's not hot. It's very cool. So far, not so muggy. Hope you're having beautiful weather as well. The YouTube alert system is not working for members, so hopefully you found this video. I know I'm starting a little bit late this morning, but I'm excited for you to join me. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, so much breaking news. We're going to go over that monthly stimulus check and why there's more Democrats pushing for it now going into the weekend than ever before. Then we cut to the recon. Done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you and the American people under the fourth stimulus recon. The biggest payout we've ever seen in the history of the channel, and I'll explain to you why it's a done deal. Then, in the final 15 minutes of this video, stay at the very end, a lot of breaking news. What's going on with that recon? Why it's a done deal? What are the checks coming to? And who are they get, who's getting those checks? You are. <laughs> and then, the breaking news about student loan debt forgiveness, about also, the incredible details of SNAP. And then the great details as a Purple Hawk member, how you are ready to pounce to get this big sum of money. We cut to Fist as well, and then we turn to the big monies across the board as one viewer got over $55,000 from this channel, and now you'll meet another viewer who got over $100,000. This is the new Mornings LA. Thank you for joining me across the board. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. The fastest growing channel there is across the board. Uh, like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. <laughs> Purple Power or Calcino VIP across the board. What a big day it is. And with that, let's cut to the breaking news. House versus Senate, Senate versus House. The incredible details are that more members want to give you those stimulus checks. We start with the details starting right now. House versus Senate, Senate versus House. We had started with just, you know, a few members wanting to give you money. But now we're seeing more money across the board. The great news as we go into the weekend is that senators and House members are paying bigger sums of money than ever before. Let's get to the details starting right now. When you look at who's at, at issue, here we go. So we have uh, Warren, Sanders, and also Wyden wanting to give you a stimulus check. Remain And the amount unknown, but this is monthly. Then we have AOC, Omar, wanting to give you a monthly stimulus check. And this one is $2,000, house. Then, on the other side, we have the Ways Subcommittee, Ways and Means, that wants to give you a forced stimulus check. This is monthly. 
the amount unknown, and then a fifth stimulus check as well. The American petition wanting to give you a monthly stimulus check, $2,000 a month, remainder of the pandemic. And then certainly the one that has turned the most heads across the board has been the House bill. Pandemic plus one year, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. That means you would get more than 12 checks. And the breaking news coming in this morning is that Apple Computers is announcing that its employees are no longer needed back into the workplace into January because of the pandemic. Meantime, the other breaking news is that Ross Department Stores is reporting massive earnings drop in Q3. They're giving an earnings projection for Q3 and saying it's going to be about 65 cents when Wall Street was looking at nearly double that amount of money. Why so much of a drop when, when Ross did enormous sales in January, February, March this year? Because of de Delta. And that's why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks under that House plan. House versus Senate, Senate versus House, vote live now and tell me where you're tuning in from and who get and where and how the weather is across the board. Who gets a stimulus check? You do. Single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats represent, you get a stimulus check. Mary couple, 150000 or less. Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. A family of four Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check as well. The fourth stimulus check is not income, it's not taxable. And the fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for adult dependents and everyone else. And finally, the fourth stimulus check is not a waivable check. So if you're at the Dodgers game and you see that wave coming, oh my goodness, hey, and then you sit down and then you look to your side and say, oh, is that the check? I haven't seen the check since the beach. Don't wave at the check. Don't wave at the check. Hey, check. You waved at the check. It doesn't wave back because it's not a waveable check and it's also a Giants fan. <laughs> Can we top that? Yeah. So the second half of this video, we'll be going over the exciting great news as Steny Hoyer has set the vote Monday. Monday, away we go. The recon heats up. I'll have all those incredible details. That's coming in the second half of this video. Then we cut to the third part of this video. With the breaking news across the board, what's going to happen and why this recon is a done deal. But first, a message for me. There's been an outage of the YouTube alert system. And the YouTube alert system is not sending alerts to members of videos when they debut. So what I ask for you to do is take a pen and paper and write down this programming schedule. We've had the same programming schedule, but here's a reminder of what it is so you know all the details. We're running about 10 minutes late currently, about 15 minutes late for the morning show. Mornings are late at 9 a.m., which you're watching right now. Mornings Crypto will start right after this video is over within three minutes. Then noontime at late will be at 11 a.m. Then we go into our afternoon shows. Afternoons at late, the replay show is at 1 p.m. Then the new afternoons at late is at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. The asterisk indicates it's a new show, new programming for today. Then evenings at late is at five o'clock. Then after that, we go into um, e we go into Sir Street and Stimulus at seven o'clock, a replay, and then eight o'clock is Sirloin. Then overnights at late at nine p.m. and then Purple at eleven thirty. And then tomorrow morning I'm back with overnights at three a.m. Street and Stimulus at three thirty, and early mornings at late, a new show at four a.m. So let's get a pen and paper ready and get a pen and paper out and let's get some big pot of money when we talk about money for rent, utilities, food, or internet. From LA Late News viewers headquarters are doing a in job. Santa Monica. And I have some this success stories since last morning. night. Here are some viewers who sent LA me messages Late. just this morning about the big money they're getting for rent, and here you go. Uh, Sharon tells me she got $2,700 to snap this week. Congratulations, Sharon. And Lainey tells me this morning, she got $13,000 for rent. She also got $2,500 for PPP. Boy, incredible success stories. And then yesterday, someone sent me a wonderful message saying Johnny got $12,000 for Snap from this channel this week. And Kathy got $13,000 for rent and $600 for water and $600 for Snap. And Helen got rent $4,000 electric and also water. So get a pen and paper ready. Let's get some big pot of money. We're going to get some rent utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities. Here's what you need to know is that when we started talking about rent, I thought it was going to be about $5,000. About four to six months of rent. Are you ready for this delay? Deliciousness, bam. Whoa, marketing $25,000 for rent. Elizabeth, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, $27,000. For rent, there's Nancy, $24,000 for rent. Richard, $22,000. And Nisi, $20,000 for rent. The success stories are still coming in with Randy getting $6,000 for rent. Jennifer, $5,000 for rent. And Cecilia, $1,200 for heap. That's a heap of heap. <laughs> Let's turn to the big money for utilities. Wow. 
there's some more utilities. So Nancy getting $7,000 for utilities. Uh, Mark getting $6,500 for utilities. Angela, $5,000 for utilities. The big sums of money are still coming on in. When we talk about SNAP, this is money for food. How much do you think people are getting? Are you ready for this? Bam. Oh, my goodness. Louie getting $18,000 for um, incredible SNAP. John, ten dollars to $12,000. And there is the incredible Nancy. She's going for a triple crown. Who is the triple crown winners? Who got three items? Bam! Whoa! Nisi getting three items on this channel. Rent, utilities, food, or internet. And then Nancy, three items. And Mark, two items at 32000 Two items. Wait a second, Mark. This is a graphic about three items. What are you doing on there? I love Mark's story. He got two items at 32000 And so for five days on camera, I said, Mark, why did you not get Snap? It's a Snap. Go get it. And within less than three days, Mark got Snap. Also... In those three days, Mark reached out to his neighbor, said that that kid, Al Light, he's the real deal. He's getting people big sums of money. And that neighbor went from nothing to $20,000 in three days. So let's go over what Mark got. He did not get $5,000 for Snap. Are you ready for his deliciousness? Mark got $19,000 for Snap, bringing his grand total to $50,400. And this is what we do. Let's look at Mark's graphic. Bam! Across the board. And this is what we do. Congratulations to Mark. Since January and in March of last year, we've been doing big sums of money. EIDL viewers getting $25 million from this channel. People that applied for the EIDL grant in spring of last year were not getting improved, but then across the board, we did it. Off camera, on camera, doing about 10 applications a day, getting 10 applications approved, $150,000 a pop, $25 million of EIDL loans approved, saving people's businesses' homes and employees' homes. Then in fall of 2020, second stimulus was not coming, so I stepped up and I got viewers. $250,000 for rent, paying for big sums of money. Like Tyrone and his family four out of Boston, hadn't gotten a single penny yet from Second Summers, stepped forward and got them $250,000. Mark and, and Tyrone getting $15,000 for rent for his family from December to the spring, but now we're doing it bigger and better, better than ever before. And if you thought that Mark at $50,000 was a ceiling, you know he's not, because I introduce you to Lorraine who got over $100,000 from this channel. And here we go. Let's get a pen and paper ready. Let's get that big sum of money right now. We're going to go over several items. We're going to get some rent, utilities, mortgages, and homeowners utilities. But let me go over a couple items for you starting off the bat. The first thing you need to know is that I'm going to show you six places with different places of money. So reach out to each of them. Each place has different eligibility. Number two, I also need you to know that of those six places, they have their own pots of money. Number four, also important to realize is that if there's no money in your city, it's going to be in your state. Because a lot of people have very small cities. Finally, don't add eligibility criteria for yourself. That is not true. They don't have any money for people who sits in front of a surfboard. Untrue. They got money for all of you. So get a pen, pen and paper ready. Here we go. We're going to get some money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, your state house authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or uh, Nancy Pelosi's beautiful hairstyle. <laughs> there you go. And if you got money for rent or utilities, post in the live chat right now. There, <laughs> and congratulations to Melinda, who got this big pot of money. The next pot of money is the money for Snap. Snap is a snap. Louie got $18,000. Mark got $19,000. Lynn Glenn got it for herself and her son and her mom. And how much can you get? Let's go over all the details. SNAP is money for food you get from Department of Agriculture. Reach out to the Department of Agriculture to get this money. And how much does it pay? A family of four out of Hawaii gets upwards, usually, of $16,000. But not anymore. If you heard the breaking news live on air on Mornings LA this week, the President of the United States reached out to the Department of Agriculture said, the SNAP increase is ending in September. And we're not going to do that anymore by executive order number one. And we're not going to do it anymore with a 15% increase. You need to pay more. And so the great breaking news is that your SNAP benefits, everyone's SNAP benefits, are increased nationwide an average of 25% lifetime 
automatic starting in October. Yes. So Louis, who got $18,000, will be seeing upwards of $25,000. And if you had success for Snap Post in the live chat right now, let's turn to that big pot of money next. We're at the 15-minute mark. It is the money coming back from your states. Your states have been ordered to return money back to you due to overpayment on unemployment benefits and computer error. One viewer got $3,000 from this, and another viewer got $5,000. Where is it landing? Direct deposit. How do you track it? Contact your state and say, hi, state, where is that payment due to overpayment of unemployment benefits? And um, can you track it with a computer that's actually on? Oh, certainly, sir. I was outside grazing. I forgot to turn it back on. Sir Loin, is that you? <laughs> More about where Sir Loin has been shortly. And then let's turn to the next spot of the money. And that is the refund check coming back from IRS. Margaret got it, Cog got it, Michael got it, and Mark got it. He got $1,400. It's a waivable check. I know, Mitch, you don't like those words, but it's a waivable check. The average payment is about $1,200 to $1,400, a new wave every week. More about that in a second. But if you're in the live chat and you've not posted success stories for rent, utilities, and snap, please do. Because the spirit of this channel is people helping people. And when you post your success story, you inspire other people. You help other people across the board. Let me go over why this is so important as this channel was launched for me to help you and now you're helping other people. Let's go over the details. Number one. When you post your success story, you inspire people to get sums of money. And now we see people who were waiting for, for stimulus to come out, and it clearly has not come out yet. And now they're realizing, wait a second, let me go get some money. That kid is showing me how to get money. Whether it's Kathy or John or Helen who got money just the last few days, or Mark's neighbor who got $20,000 this week, pick up the phone and get the money. Number two, you inspire people to realize, wait a second, these sums of money are bigger than we thought. I never thought that utilities I could get $5,000 paid for. And then we have people who never realized about SNAP. They never heard about SNAP till they found this channel, like Larry Maui. Getting $500 a month, a lifetime, because of finding this channel. So post your success stories because people now realize there's bigger sums of money than ever before especially with that 25% increase. So going back to that unemployment benefits, where's the landing direct deposit always in the mail? Can you track it? Yeah. Go to iris.gov and do a transcript search, and 70% of the time it will work. It will reveal the taxes you paid and the tax return you filed, and then it will reveal stuff you never knew. I mean, stuff you never wanted to know. Uh, like when Ron Wyden and, and Marco Rubio go uh, play miniature golf together, is it sort of like that Danny DeVito... Uh, um, and um, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, <laughs> Twins. <laughs> Can we top that? Yes. As we go into the second part of your four stimulus check update 2021, starting right now. Deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you and the American people. And this is the single biggest payout we've ever seen in the history of this channel. Why do I say deal done? Well, let me explain to you right now. Number one. The recon has all the Democrats supporting it. Number two, the price tag has already been agreed to. Number three, it's all checks for you, mostly application-based. And number four, it's going to be passed because it has to be passed. If you don't pass it, it doesn't. you don't get the rows and bridges. They're mutually agreeable. Let's go over all the details, starting with the following. How do they do this? Well, originally, the recon had roads and bridges in there. And those roads and bridges were taken out and put into something called the bipartisan. Now both are getting passed. The higher the price tag was on the recon before, the harder it was to pass. Reports of conservative publication confirming my reporting. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending from the roads and bridges, from the bipartisan, from the recon, roads and bridges, and put it into the bipartisan, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller. In other words, both the recon and bipartisan are now passable. And starting this Monday, the recon procedure will be done. Well, how do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot by the president saying, what price tag do you want? You're going to only hear this on the channel. Democratic senators, Democratic House members, and the president were meeting daily to ensure that they got a big enough price tag. $3.5 trillion. Done. So the vote on Monday is merely ceremonial. It's a price tag already agreed upon. That's why Representative Richie Torres and also Elon Omar said we have to have a recon that goes as big and bold as we want it. They got it, $3.5 trillion. The president told the Democrats, protect the recon, because everything in there is checks for the American people, progressive checks, your checks. And that's what they're doing. E um, Jalapal and also Brian Schatz, Democrats, Hawaii and Washington confirmed that the White House told them that they consider the progressive priorities in that recon its priorities. So let's go over what a recon is, what a bipartisan is, or what a recon procedural is, and what a recon substantive is. With, January, with Monday just around the corner, it's important to know all these differences starting right now. The president has said, I need 
both bodies of legislation on my desk in the White House to sign. I'm not signing one. So both have to pass. We need to know what both of them are. Your money, recon, not your money, bipartisan. All right, let's separate them and go through each of them one at a time. First, your recon is also called reconciliation, also called the budget bill. Price tag, $3.5 trillion. And here we go. That recon has um, the incredible also names of things like the Democrat spending plan or the progressive spending plan. The recon has the four stimulus, has all these incredible payouts, and that is where the checks would land if they put it in there. The bipartisan, on the other hand, is called roads and bridges, also called infrastructure, $1.5 trillion price tag. Okay, that's pretty simple. Let's go over the recon procedural versus recon substantive. Recon procedural asks one and two very basic questions. Number one, do you agree upon a price tag? I do, $3.5 trillion price tag. And do you agree that these committees will get the money in the Congress to determine how to spend it at a later date? $10 for this committee, $20 for that committee? I do. Done. That's all it does. Then recon substantive. Recon substantive then with those subcommittees given the money, determine how to spend it. Now that a committee has been given the money, who's going to get the money? How's it going to spend it? And who is it going to spend the money on? And there you go. More about that later in the final 15 minutes of this video. I'll go over what recon substantive goes for a vote for and how it gets done and how your money goes out the door. It's coming up in the final 15 minutes to this video state to that point. But how do we get to this wonderful spot from Jalpal, who recently wrote Schumer letter saying, Chuck, call the vote on the recon. Well, the recon vote passed. It passed on the Senate side, and on Monday it'll pass on the House side for your recon procedural. That letter, signed by 12 House Democrats who are part of the 100-plus House Democrats who recently wrote the president letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly forcemous checks in the forcemous package. Wow. Can we top that? Yes. As seven members of the House Ways and Means Subcommittee, yes, the one we just went over, yep, that one, recently wrote the president letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly forcemous checks in the forcemous package. Boy, Purple Power, you got to keep these people their promise. Can we top that? Yes. As we've seen now Warren and Sanders and AOC and, ja and Omar and also the bill and also the House Ways and Means Subcommittee saying right there and also the American Petition all saying we need stimulus checks. That is how we're topping it. And finally... Biden did it. He got the global minimum corporate tax rate, a very, very confusing thing, out of the recon, making it easier to write the recon. That global minimum corporate tax rate thing he did overseas in a ceremony signature a few weeks ago. The real signature was a few days ago, and this makes it easier to pass the recon. Number one, easier to call the vote on the recon, easier to vote on the recon, easier to pass the recon, because this confusing thing is not in there. Can we top that? Yes. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, stay with me as we go over the exciting details about what's breaking about the student loan debt forgiveness, about the SNAP, about the recon vote on Monday, about the big money that you're going to get under the Purple Hawk and the fist stimulus as well. But first, if you've gotten one sum of money from this channel over the last few months, whether it's $100 for utilities or the phone bill, $200 picked up because of COVID, or gas or water or electric or rent, you're going to do so well under four stimulus. But if you haven't, I want you to get at least one item today. Pick up the phone and call them. You've called them when you've spoken to the water department before the electric department. Call them up and say, I need rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. And after you've gotten that one item, if you haven't gotten the others, don't worry. Reach out to the community page. They're in the description of this video. Go down, you'll find them at news.la.com forward slash community. Click the link, it'll send you over to the community page. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Mornings LA, live from Santa Monica, continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. 
The excitement starts on Mornings LL8 at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And Mornings LA continues right now, live from Santa Monica on a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm excited for you to join me across the board. So much incredible great news as we go into the final 15 minutes of this video with the breaking details about your fourth stimulus. As we heat up into a Monday with that vote coming. Oh my goodness, so excited. Then we cut to fifth stimulus and more. All those details and all the deliciousness coming up. And first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you to hit that button. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. If you're just finding this video, yes, the YouTube alert notification for members has been off since Wednesday. Uh, they are aware of the situation and trying to resolve the situation. I'll show you the programming schedule again later in this video at the end of the video so you don't miss a video across the board today. I'm back with you on Morning's Crypto right after this video ends, five minutes after it ends. Meantime, the President of the United States had promised during the campaign trail he was going to raise your benefits up if you're on SSI and SSDI. He did not deliver it. So now the Democrats are taking care of this in what's called fist stimulus. Fifth stimulus starts within just days in September. And that fifth stimulus is the relief that you wanted. They'll start drafting this in September, then putting it to a vote in around November. And how does it work? Step one, raising your benefit limits up, then removing the asset limit, adding inflationary benchmark, removing the income exclusion, and removing the marriage penalty. Let's go over all the details starting right now. Who gets this? You do. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, or SSA. Step one is they'll raise your benefits up. Step number two is they'll apply a new benchmark. That new benchmark is inflation. Where is inflation going to be? It's going to be transitory. The Federal Reserve this week said that, well, they're going to start considering tapering later this year. And that's because inflation is kicking in. How high? I've been reporting about 5% transitory. So let's do the analysis. First, your benefits will raise up lifetime, and then they'll apply a new benchmark. That new benchmark will be inflation. And let's say it's 5%. That means your benefits will step up another 5%. Not just next year, lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Then they're going to move the asset cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't, 80s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 in the hand. It's going to go away. They're going to move the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can no longer uh, work and stay on benefits. It's going to go away and you'll be able to work. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to end. And love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear loss of benefits. Meantime, fifth stimulus check, yes, they represent the House Ways and Means Subcommittee that there will be a fifth stimulus check in the fifth stimulus package. And finally, if you're in the live chat and you know people who are purple hawks with a purple hawk emoji next to their name and you've not joined, what are you doing? You need to become a Purple Hawk because the Purple Hawks are killing it and have been killing it and giving me big sums of money on this channel in recent days. The real great news I'm seeing from the Purple Hawks is that they realize that there's massive sums of money for you under third stimulus, and they're getting it right now. This is what's going on, is that when second stimulus was, we were waiting for it in December of last year, just like how we're waiting for fourth stimulus right now, I said, you can't wait, you can go get some money. And that's how I show viewers, like Tyrone, how to get rent. 250000 I got. Tyrone got $15,000, paid all his rent to the new year. But now Purple Hawks are doing better than ever before. We know there's four stimulus coming. We know we're getting $3.5 trillion of checks. But we're not waiting around another week. We're getting money right now. We're picking up the phone today and calling and getting Snap. We're picking up the phone and getting utilities and rent. And that's why I have all these incredible viewers that are sending me two to three messages every few hours saying, I just got money today because of your video yesterday. That's a true spirit of the Purple Hawks. Purple Hawks are delivered from me via the YouTube community page messaging system, except when it's not working today and yesterday and Wednesday. I know a breakdown of all the big money under third stimulus, second stimulus, and first stimulus for you to get. 
That breakdown shows you the big sums of money that are allocated for you under third stimulus. And with that, it also shows you what's dedicated for fourth and fifth stimulus as proposed. So consider becoming a Purple Hawk. The link is under the video. And finally, let's go into the final 15 minutes of this video, starting right now with deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people under the force of recon. How can I say deal done, and how can this be so certain? Number one, the Democrats have already agreed upon the price, $3.5 trillion. It's a done deal. So on Monday, when Steny Hoyer brings them back in session to vote, that vote will be merely just ceremonial. $3.5 trillion of checks under the force stimulus recon procedural will be a Simple vote. They've already agreed upon the price tag before they started. Number two, they have enough Democrats to pass this when they go to recon substantive. Now, here's what you need to know is that when they then go to recon substantive, then they start determining how to spend the money. And ultimately, it's all $3.5 trillion of checks for the American people, mostly application-based. If you've been with me since day one, you understand what application-based is because most of the stimulus packages have always been application-based. When you look at first, second, or third stimulus, you've dealt with applications all along, whether it's PEBT, picking up the phone and getting that raise, or PPP, or PUA, or EIDL. We have in this there are four stimulus, all these committees getting massive sums of money. And so they're going to have your money. You're going to go with them to get the money instead of IRS sending you a check. Now, there is a push underway to put stimulus checks on top of that. But the $3.5 trillion for you is confirmed. Let's go over some of the proposals of the items in there. Lots of checks for seniors and lots of checks for workers. Checks for street school meals for all, checks. Tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks. Lots of checks for free internet, checks for farmers. And then checks for workers and seniors, checks for workers alike. Uh, checks for unions, checks for independent contractors. And checks for seniors alike. Uh, checks for hearing care, checks for vision, checks for dental. And checks for lowering eligibility age. I love the Purple Hawks. They've been sending me messages saying, how do I get that? internet and that dental together. Where's the application for that? Uh, you don't want one, one person doing your dental and also your internet. <laughs> it's gonna be different applications. All right, let's go over the voting process. With the recon procedural being called for a vote as early as this Monday, then what? Well, if there's something I noticed this morning, you're hearing this for the first time on Mornings LA, is that Steny Hoyer's letter to the House members is get back into session, we're coming back and starting to vote by the evening of August 23rd. And we're staying here until we're done. Until we're done? Oh, those keywords are really fascinating because you know why? I've been telling you over the last few days that I've been hearing that the recon substantive will start on the House side, not the Senate side. The Senate's gone. But the House is coming back and staying in session? I think we're starting with the recon substantive on the House side. Let's go over who writes a recon, how it gets written, and how it gets done. House subcommittees are the lead writers, I've been saying for two months, on the recon. Those House subcommittees are delegated different subject matters under the Constitution. For example, House Ways and Means, yep, that group that said they're going to give you monthly stimulus checks, they're writing the part that concerns stimulus checks and also unemployment benefits. When all, all those subcommittees are done in the House, they send their pages up to, ch up to either Chuck or Nancy. Let's say it's 10 subcommittees of 10 pages. They combine it with 100 pages, and we thought it was going to get an S on it. But I had told you over the last week, I'm hearing a lot of reports that it may be an H for House. Well, the Steny Hoyer letter says, stay in session. We're not going home. We're staying in town after we come back in town. Well, that could signal that really they're going right into recon substantive first on the House side. This is critical because recon substantive starts right after recon procedural. Here's what you need to know is that recon procedural is a vote uh, potentially as early as Monday, and that recon substantive will not just start drafting on Monday. They've been drafting this for a while. The voting will start right away because they got three bills to do. Recon procedural, which will be done as early as Monday, and then going right into recon substantive. Now, why have I brought back Seats for Stimulus, the big hashtag campaign from 2020? 
Because when they do the recon substantive and they determine how to spend the money, it's money for us, but they don't. you do not want them to spend the money the wrong way. Here's an example. You don't want them to spend $10, excuse me, 90% on farmers and 10% on non-farmers. That's an example. They're not doing that, but I'm just using an example. So there's six House seats up for grabs in the November election. Those six House seats could determine how Democratic or how Republican the House becomes. So go on social media, tag your elected officials with the hashtag seats for stimulus spelled out that way and say you got to spend the right type of stimulus on the right type of people. Meantime, what's important to understand is that when they start that voting for the recon, there's a lot of reasons why I like it started on the House side. Let me show you why I like the recon subsidy starting on the House side. Number one, the House subcommittee is writing the legislation. Number two, the House members always pay more money than senators. Number three, the House progressives have a lot more of them on the House. There's a lot more progressives on the House side than on the Senate side. And there's a lot more progressives on the House side than moderate Democrats on the Senate side. Last, progressives spend a lot more money than moderate Democrats. And it's better to start on the House side where more money could be spent before going to the Senate voterama where more money could be spent on top of that. Yeah, it just looks better to start on the, on the House side. Finally, let's recap and let's go over the other breaking news across the board. Breaking news this week was that student loan debt forgiveness is now a thing of finality for disabled individuals. Now, it seems sort of inhumane and illogical that this was not law 30, 40 years ago, but students who had become disabled were still obligated to pay their student loan debt back, even though they had no ability to ever make to ever work and get a paycheck to be able to afford to pay the student loan debt back. But Biden's group finally agreed to forgive student loan debt for disabled individuals. It is not decided yes or no as to forgiving student loan for debt for everyone else. The SNAP benefits surprise came out of nowhere as everyone's SNAP benefits will be increased a lifetime automatically starting in October, an average of 25%. You don't have to do anything. If you're not on SNAP benefits and you get on it, then you'll get the increase as well. And finally, the big news is the following recap. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people under the force stimulus recon. It will pass, one, because they have an agreed upon price tag. Number two, they have all the Democrats on board to do this. Number three, they have to do the recon because if they don't the recon, there won't be the roads and bridges. And everyone who wants the roads and bridges has to have the recon. The president says, I have to have both. And finally, because this is the biggest spending plan in, we've ever seen in the history of this country. We've had first stimulus. We've had second stimulus. We've had third stimulus that have been this big. Fourth stimulus is this big. A lot of room to put a stimulus check in there or stimulus checks or monthly stimulus checks. And then on top of that, the confirmed $3.5 trillion of spending for you. Finally, if you've gotten any sums of money under these prior stimulus packages with this channel, you're going to pounce because application-based stimulus has always been the focus of the U.S. government. Under the current third, under the current fourth stimulus proposed, different committees will be given different sums of money. So you might be a senior, your money may be at one committee, and you may want internet, your money be may be at another committee. It's not like the checks are being sent out from IRS. IRS has nothing to do with your internet. IRS has nothing to do with with your dental plan. They just have to do with with the treasury. And so this is the big sums of money we've seen before. If you've been with me before and gone over EIDL or PPP or PBT or SNAP or EID or 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 rent or food or internet or any of these items, you're going to do really well. That's why the skill set is what I impart to you. If you haven't picked up the phone and gotten one of these sums of money, do it today. You saw how I started this video with the three people who got money uh, today and the two people yesterday, Kathy. Johnny and Helen. I love Helen's story because she got two different utilities, electric and water. You know how to pick up the phone and call the electric company. You've called them before when there's a power outage. You've called up the water department before when there's not enough hot water, cold water. Well, you can pick them up again and call them again and say, I want to try to get that utility assistance because of COVID. I want to know where it is. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. And when you get one item, or if you've gotten one item, you are ready to pounce under four stimulus. And away we go. Meantime, let's go over again what is coming up next today on LA. The YouTube messaging system for members has been down since Wednesday. It's still down today. 
And so it's important for you to remember the programming schedule. Get a pen and paper, write, write it down. We're running a little bit late on crypto, which is starting up right after this video. Crypto starts in about five minutes from now. It would normally start about 9.45 or about five minutes late. Then we go into noontime at 11 a.m. Both those shows are live and new. That's 9.45 crypto, which is going to be about five minutes after this video is over. And then noontime, Pacific Standard Time, for noon, uh, excuse me, 11 a.m. for noontime. Uh, on the West Coast. Then we go into our afternoon shows. Afternoons L8 is at 1 p.m. That is the throwback show. Then 3 p.m., a brand new Afternoons L8. Uh, keep hip, heats up. And then 5 p.m., a brand new Evenings L8. Then we go into our evening shows. Following Evenings L8, we go into Stream Stimulus, a throwback. Then Sirloin at 8 o'clock. And then we go into our overnight shows of Overnight's L8 at 9 p.m., Purple at 11.30 Tomorrow morning, I'm back with you with a brand new early, early mornings L8 at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before that is one hour of throwbacks with overnight at 3 a.m. and then street and stimulus at 3.30. So tell your friends when a video is coming on, help one another because the messaging system is down and uh, be part of the incredible community that helps one another. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.